This is the Mac Minister coming live from Southern Desert State Penitentiary. Um, first thing I'm going to let y'all know out there is that I got a book, an animation called Nicodemus, The Crime Boss of the Jungle Hood. Now, The Crime Boss of the Jungle Hood consists of the monkey, the gorilla, and the lion. The monkey is the pimp, the gorilla is the gangster, the lion is the lord of man. Now, the monkey and gorilla got a conflict of interest because the monkey is a pimp and the gorilla is a gangster. Now, the monkey, based on him being a pimp, is a non-contact sport. Now, a gorilla is a gangster, and he full contact sport. So, with that said, they have a cantankerous relationship in the jungle hood. Now, the lion is a lord of land. He tried to put them both in the zoo department of corrections. I take the zoo and I make that as a prison. Now... The gorilla, based on him being a gorilla and got favor in the game, he got flunkies. He got two flunkies. He got really three flunkies. But the two flunkies is two chimpanzees, they're twin brothers, slime ball and dirt bag. And they got another partner that they run with called Weasel. Now, to get to the meat and potatoes and the moral of the story is that they come together to frame Nicodemus for the murder of Lieutenant Lion, who's the law of the land. Nicodemus is the gorilla, the gangster. So... What happens is Magnificent first encounters with Nicodemus' son, Brutus. Brutus is a jacker. So Magnificent is always popping his P's and flexing his G's. You know, he got verbal gymnastics. So he popped his game in a way that it just, if you don't respect the game, you hate the game. So you especially hate it coming from this motherfucker. But he ain't just a monkey. He's a monkey mixed with a gorilla. His mama is a monkey and his daddy is a gorilla. So he's a mixed breed. Now, with all that said, he popping his P's. Brutus stepped to him. Now, he put uh, paws and feet on Brutus. And when he do that, he win favor in the jungle hood. But unbeknown to him, Brutus is Nicodemus' son. So Slimeball and Dirtbag do the Slimeball, Dirtbag, and Weasel type shit. They go let Nick, they tell Nicodemus about how Magnificent put hands and paws on his son. So now Magnificent, I mean, uh, Nicodemus is awesome. Okay, well, it don't matter what he don't know. What he don't know can't hurt him, he can kill him. But at the same time, he gonna charge him. So he do some gangster shit and, and flex his jeans and tell him he need a, he need a bag. So Mika, Magnificent, he ain't no punk. He ain't finna give him nothing. He ain't gonna give him sweat off his balls if he choking in the desert on a peanut butter sandwich. He ain't giving up a nickel. So he ain't gonna give him a nickel with a hole in the middle. He ain't giving up shit. So uh, Weasel, the weasel that he is, he had to plan on how to... Cross Nicodemus. So he tell Magnificent, man, I could get rid of the gorilla and the lion. How you gonna do that? Don't worry about it. I got a plan. Make a long story short, get right to the meat and potatoes. Unbeknown to Nicodemus and Magnificent, Slime Bar, Dirtbag, and Weasel is confidential informants of Lieutenant Lion. So when they come bring him this news, he trying to catch Nicodemus' red hand in the midst of pressuring these people. But unbeknown to him, it's a setup. So when he get over there and he as he approaches, Nicodemus got a cigar in his hand, he hanging out, he wait, he thinking he gonna get a bag for magnificent. So when the lion walk up, they cut the rope. The rope come down and and the five hundred pound rock bash Lieutenant Lion in the head and kill him. Startle look at the Nicodemus. Please and ticks, all this shit jump off of him. He drop his cigar. He, 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 hey, he get up out of there in a real rapid fashion. So now they spread the rumor that Nicodemus killed Lieutenant Lion. So that's what they said. Now he on animals most wanted. They looking for his ass. He and he is and he is some serious heat. But it's one witness that know about it because there's an eagle named Justice that's flying around. And, the, and he patrolled the sky. He law enforcement. So earlier that week, he had heard Weasel, Slimeball, and Dirtbag hatching a plan on how they was going to kill Lieutenant Lion and frame Nicodemus. But it was rhetoric at the time. He didn't, they didn't do it, so it was, it was just rhetoric. But when it happened, once it happened, he was on vacation. He had flew south with his family on vacation. So when he come back, all this shit is in the news. It's all in the paper. The Jungle Chronicle. They reading this shit. They're all on America. Uh, uh, animals Most Wanted. So, mind you, the snake is the prosecutor. So...
He go to the snake and he tells the snake serpentine, look, you looking for Nicodemus. Nicodemus ain't the one who killed Lieutenant Lyon. Well, how do you know? I was patrolling the skies and I heard, you know, Eagle can hear far, see far. So he like, I heard him talking about this. Well, why you didn't send him? Because it was rhetoric. Now that the crime done took place, don't you want to get the right people? Yeah. Or, the, or should I say the right species? Yeah. So he told him to meet him at the Serpent Deluxe. That's his cousin's restaurant. So when he go to the Serpent Deluxe, unbeknown to him, the snake is going to set him up and knock him off. So he eat some poisonous salmon out of the orange pond. So when he eat the poisonous salmon, it don't kill him, but it damn near kill him. So he's at the animal pet, he's at the pet hospital on the respirator. Now, all this is taking place. Nicodemus done been arrested, charged with the murder of Lieutenant Lyon, and all the shenanigans take place. Y'all need to go get this book. But at the same time, when I'm done with this book, I'm going to make it an animation. So anybody with an ear that can hear and that can recognize some real shit, get at me because I'm trying to put this book on Amazon. I'm, I, well, basically, I'm just trying to get somebody to help me distribute this book. It's a cold book about the game. Not only is it about the game, but it go into the law. And then not only do it go into the law, but it show you how you could be framed for something, DNA evidence and all the shit, and you'll end up in the zoo department of corrections on some trumped up ass charges. But I got part two coming right behind that. And Nicodemus is going to get convicted, basically. I promise you that. But he going to get overturned in the, in the next... Um, segment of this shit in book two so with that said man get at me man i need somebody that that, that do these books i've been you know I'm, I'm i'm in the penitentiary you know i'm i'm out of sight but i ain't out of touch and i know it's a lot of motherfuckers now that's taking and, and, and getting into this book getting into these animations in these books so get at me we're gonna turn we're gonna serve it as a book and then we're gonna do an animation somebody come sit down and get with me.